Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not in the mood right now to make a video. I am highly upset. So I'm going to try to be quick with some things. Buy my book, authorhouse.com. As you can see, I'm not even bringing out the bird. Very important. I need you to comment on this. Absolutely. Okay. I need the spring for the catch mechanism in a clear shot. Okay. I miss. I lost mine. I have no idea where it is. So either I keep looking for it and periodically give me one second. Periodically, just whenever I paint another one, I just change out the catch mechanism, the catch spring, until I find it. Or you guys could tell me where I could a, a blaster that uses the same catch spring. Okay. Very important because this is driving me crazy and it's giving me anxiety and I hate that. Very, very much. Another thing, update on the dark test video. Everything went wrong. These are different tips. So I only got 10 of these. And out of 10, I only found 5 of them one after doing my test. So, yeah. So that's that problem. Everything's falling apart on me. Ugh. God, I'm angry. I'm angry, angry. Anyway, so I'm gonna so thrift shop haul at the end of the video. Let me do the thing I wanted to. So discussing Nerf painting. So as you can see, I painted this Nerf gun in different colors. But this is acrylic. Everything except for the base paint is acrylic. That means I painted it all black. That's right. It was all black and I painted over it with acrylic except for the copper bits. It's actually my signature signature weapon from my book series for my character, the Copper Owl. You can see in the avatar picture what he looks like or what I look like. Not that. So there's that. And I didn't upgrade the blaster or anything like that. It's just for cosplay. That's really all it's for. And I wanted it to be kind of very mishmash and all that. Like, okay, this thing has been around for a while. It's been replaced with different parts and all that. That's why I went with, like, the standard variant of the blaster would look very standard. Very, um, like, the rail is the same color, but this one's been replaced. Though I might actually paint over it. I don't know. I think it looks a bit better weathered. And all that, but so this was supposed to be the um, default one, no weathering and all that stuff. And compared to my oh wait, I don't have it with me. Let me pause. Okay, continuing. So compared to the original, this one, it's um kind of in the reverse. Now I think this one looks a bit more realistic, like the twenty two pistol from um Fallout New Vegas. This one still has a kind of realistic, but more sci-fi look to it. The, and the reason why I didn't just make this the default was because I ran out of gunmetal gray paint. Well, I didn't run out of it. It just it evaporated, so it's all chunky when it comes out. And I wasn't going to deal with that. So I just painted, painted it all black. Pin it over with the, a gunmetal gray acrylic. And as you can see, I, I did add weathering to it, but as you can see, like it looks pretty much the same. Not that. They look very similar. Maybe this one's a little bit more brighter, but as you can see right here, they're very similar. So I thought, okay, so I don't need to buy dark metal gray anymore. I just need to buy a matted black. And paint over it, but you can see the silver doesn't look right. The silver acrylic doesn't doesn't like to stick on too well, so it gives it a more weathered look. But I didn't. But when I was doing it, I didn't want the weathered look. I wanted like a flat look. You can see right here. But this caused me a lot of problems. I go grab the other half. <laughs> But it ultimately, because 
Silver Paint has a problem with sticking on, so you can see this damage right here. It all is all crinkly, and it the crinkliness will affect the black paint, causing it to chip off. So yeah, didn't come out too well. Though, after doing this and everything, I thought, okay, this thing does remind me of the 22LR. I didn't like that, so I want y'all's opinion. Which one do you like the most out of these two? The gunmetal gray with the black or the black and the silver? Okay, I think the black with this, the, this one looks a bit better. This should be the standard now that I think about it. I just, I won't paint this part copper anymore. I'm going to paint the slide copper or the tip copper. Most likely the slide, the slide will be copper. This will be black still. And I'm just gonna go over it with acrylic. Cause as much as I like the gunmetal grip, right? I'm, I'm probably gonna do a little bit of like the two, acrylic for like the, the body mostly and all that. If not that, then this is gonna stay the way. These are gonna be copper, so you, you guys can imagine that, but the rest is like, you know, it's silver and all that. And the slide is going to be copper and all that. So, so but I, I do need your opinion on this because I am technically doing the paint, breaking the rule, don't paint it all black and all that. And with the silver, it does kind of, yeah, it's kind of breaking the rule even further. Not to mention that it, the Roth, the... The, blast, the firearm I'm basing this off of is all silver with brown grips. So yeah, it's... um, I, And I also think this is too modern looking with its current color scheme. So... I'm, I'm really like thinking I'm going to go over all of this with black. And just... Assuming I don't throw it away out of anger. Like, I, I honestly, like, if I go to Goodwill and find another one of these, I might throw it away. I might throw this away. Because I, I, this is really, really upset me. See, so yeah, give me your opinions. Should I go with the all black? Or should I at least buy some more gunmetal gray paint? Or do I just paint? Do you guys like the idea after looking at it with all acrylic? And all that, are you guys okay with me just painting it with acrylic gray instead? So, there's that. So, let me get to the thrift shop haul. So, I got the modulus stock blaster. So, I think there's something wrong with it. I'm going to, let me put it on a blaster real quickly. Because something is bothering me about it. I want to see... Well, let me show you the other blaster I got. The Sonic Ice Retaliator. Completed. It works. Came with an 18-run mag. Yeah, no. There is something wrong with it. It's upside down. It's weird. I knew something was wrong when I looked at it, but, like, why is it doing that? Yeah, I gotta fix that. Come on off. But, yeah. Sonic Ice. With an 18-run mag. What else did I get? This Nerf barrel attachment that I like. That I might paint for a different blaster. Let me take it off though. Like this one. The, this one came is pretty decent. Looking. Also another mega launcher. You know how much I like that one. 18 round clear mag. Yeah, it's a bit jank, but you know, you always buy them when you find them, but. I found the rapid strike it went with too. It came with the original, but it didn't work that well, so I didn't buy it. A grip. There's a friend grip. I, I haven't had this one. All of these things are really dirty too. I need to clean them. And then you can probably hear what this is. A one belt. Two belts. Three bucks. And I could have had a probably a fourth and a fifth, but I decided okay, this was enough. 
and all that. So there we go. So yeah, yeah. Now yes, I'm gonna connect all of them together. Yeah, that's really that's my hole. Is there anything else I got? I don't think so. So, and it's really important, and again, it's really important that you guys respond about what you think about the color scheme of the blasters. I will even post a poll and all that. So, yeah, also with the dark test, it's going to take longer because I'm not going to change a bunch of things about it. So, please t tell me what you think. Because there's another blaster I really want to paint and I will do a mod guide for. Well, sort of a mod guide. You'll see it, you'll understand when, when you see it, okay? Thank you all very much. You all have a nice day. Bye-bye.